Yes, indeed. It is the big one. Our final award for this evening, the Australian Exporter of the Year Award in recognition of the most outstanding Australian exporter for 2021. And we've seen so many great examples tonight. It's going to be incredibly hard to choose, I reckon. Let's please all welcome back the Honourable Dan Tien to announce the finalists for this year and then, of course, the winner. Minister, it's a big one. Koshi, great to be back. And wow, haven't we seen some great winners and the emotion that has been on those faces has been almost brings tears to your eyes. You can see the passion that goes into those businesses and also the innovation that's been on display. Quite extraordinary. And the pursuit of diversification, something that the government's been pursuing, we've seen in all these businesses. So we've had a great night, but it's only going to get better. These awards go back to 1963. Hammersley Iron was the first award winner. And we've had Cochlear, we've had Argyle Diamonds, Lonely Planet, diversity in all the winners since 1963. And we're going to get diversity, I'm sure, again tonight. So, Koshi, let's have a look at all the winners from all the categories because that's where our Exporter of the Year is going to come from. So back to you and let's have a look at all those winners from each of those categories that we will choose the Australian Exporter of the Year from. Physio, A.W. Bell, Clean and Pure, C-Max Clinical Research, Concept, Drone Shield, Engineering Institute of Technology, I Build Building Solutions. Invitec, Monsoon Aquatics, Penten, Riviera Australia, True South Seafood, Wild Bear Entertainment. So, Koshi, I've got the envelope here. I'm just opening it up, pulling the winner out. The suspense is killing me. I'm sure it's killing everyone else. This is incredibly exciting. And can I just say to everyone who's participated again tonight, thank you for being such a wonderful example to all our businesses, our export businesses right across Australia. And the winner of the 2021 Australian Exporter of the Year is Monsoon Aquatics from the Northern Territory. Well done, Monsoon Aquatics. Congratulations oh. on a huge, huge achievement and incredibly well deserved. Uh, if I had a question, it is, and you mentioned this um, it, when you got your early award. How, as a team, did you come together to deal with the once in a century pandemic? This pandemic, none of us could see it coming. Uh, it's challenges to all. You've risen to the occasion. You're now the 2020. One Australian Exporter of the Year. How have you dealt as a team with the pandemic and what lessons would you have for exporters right across the nation for dealing with future challenges? Well, first of all, thank you. Um, yeah, we're amazed. We're quite shocked and, and, and very happy. Um, yeah, COVID was devastating for us. Like we rely on air freight and that just stopped overnight. Uh, and we have very quickly had to innovate, adapt and survive, just like Bear Grylls would. 
Uh, we followed that advice and we just worked hard. We had a lot of new in initiation uh, initiatives that we brought forward and, and um, took some risks and worked hard. Yeah, it's not rocket science. There's no secrets. It's just grit, determination and being ready for the opportunities and recognising them and grabbing them. Well, you've done that with spades and I must say nothing gives me greater pleasure than hearing that hard word or two words, hard work, because I think if anything underpins all our award winners tonight, fundamentally hard work and teamwork and innovation uh, is at the key of what all of you have achieved. So congratulations. You go on an honour board. Uh, which recognises the best of the best. It is thoroughly deserved, uh, and I wish you all the very well in the future, and I know it will be a bright one. So thank you, all the best, and thanks again to everyone who has participated. Back to you, Koshi. Uh, good on you, Minister. <laughs> Daniel, our, our congratulations as well. I can honestly say in the 55-year history of the Export Awards, no one has used Bear Grylls as their business model. <laughs> <laughs> but it is... Uh, yeah, well, it's been like being at war, hasn't it? A survival situation with, with COVID and, and being in business. I mean, everyone who's in business, small or large, it's been tough. Yep. Yeah. Um, exporting coral around the world, how satisfying is that for you to know that you're... You're saving and exporting something so precious to the environment. It's really important to us. Like, we honestly believe that sharing this beauty and wonder of the reef with the world actually gets people interested, willing to invest, willing to protect. And, and we're right now investing all of our profits into aquaculture. We've done some world first spawning events with, with really tricky species of coral. And we're going to be at the forefront of reef restoration and, and doing that habitat restoration in Australia as well. So wow. we're really excited. Just explain that a bit more uh, to us because we're constantly told about bleaching of the reef and we're going to use lose one of our, our most prestigious resources in this country and most, and most fragile, but you're working out just how to restore it and rebuild it. How? Koshi, oh, it's a mixture of science and magic at the moment <laughs> and bucket chemistry because we only know a certain amount about these coral species and, yeah. and what we're working on, the species we're working on, haven't been done before. We had a world first spawning in our Bundaberg facility a few weeks ago uh, of a species that is endemic to Australia and has never been spawned before. No. So there's no textbooks, there's no scientific papers we can go and read. So we've got to take a little bit of what we know, what's been proven, and kind of apply a bit of magic and a bit of luck and a lot of hard work and you know, cross our fingers. Yeah, yeah. What started your passion for it? Oh, mate, my, my father opened an aquarium store when I was, I was a youngster. So my first memories are, you know, playing around with fish tanks and, and I can't drive past a creek or an ocean without getting in and, and having a look. Um, yeah, it's it's... It's an obsession, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so who have you got with you there? So I've got Tim behind me here. Tim's uh, our, our skipper and he's part business owner. So Tim runs our boat in the Northern Territory. Yeah. The most dangerous place in Australia to dive. And uh, no one has dived more of the Northern Territory and explored it than Tim. Right. And then here I've got Sophie, who is our facility manager here in Darwin. And Sophie just runs an amazing operation here with our husbandry staff, our packers, and our sales team. Yeah. Okay. Compared with Tim, your, your, your shirt's a bit plain. You've got to get a bit more colourful, <laughs> I reckon. I'm, I'm the business at the front. Tim's the party at the back. <laughs> <laughs> We're like a mullet. Uh, Daniel, what an achievement um, to receive the award. Let's take a moment to acknowledge Monsoon Aquatic Success. We really believe in sharing the beauty and the wonder of the coral reef with the world. What we're harvesting and growing on site here, our hope is that one day we can also be involved in reef restoration efforts. We are licensed exporters of live coral and fish for the worldwide aquarium trade. We're an important part of the Northern Territory and Darwin community. 
We supply wholesalers overseas and we're in a unique position where the demand outstrips supply. What makes us special compared to other businesses that do what we do is our team and our passion. Everyone who works for us absolutely love dealing with marine life, corals and fish. Export's critical to our business. Without export, we wouldn't have the size of the company we do now. 80% of our product would be exported overseas. It's allowed us to become one of the biggest operators in Australia. So that's really where our future is, our growth. And it's really exciting. What an incredible business. What an achievement. Congratulations again, Monsoon Aquatics, on winning the 2021 Australian Exporter of the Year. And a big congratulations to all our winners and all our finalists. To those watching around the country, I hope you feel inspired by the stories we've heard tonight of exporters overcoming remarkable feats to take their products and services to the world. As a proud small business owner and exporter myself, I cannot overstate how thrilled I am to see Aussie businesses celebrated for their successes. Thank you to all the sponsors, the program partners for making the 59th Australian Export Awards come to life. Stay tuned. Next year, a big milestone anniversary. It's going to be special. Good night. Thanks for having me. Thank you.